and a special versus battle is set for legendary 90s groups like SWV and Escape. All right, entertainment journalist Devin Simone joins me tonight to share her top pick of who's going to win tomorrow's battle and some last minute gift ideas for Mother's Day because Lord knows I need them. All right, hey Devin. Hey, Yodi, can I just say that starting off <laughs> this battle, our battle of who's going to win, I don't love that you only played your group in the intro. I don't love that you just played a clip of SWV and you didn't play one of the You know what, you're right. I feel like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like we're already not starting you're off right, on you're right. round. I feel like... I... You are right. But see, my producer asked me what my favorite swv song was so i figured why not to, i didn't you're right though as a journalist the anchor i should be more middle of the road so i, I should have been more fair and played right. both I'm and then made the case for teach. why i think swv is gonna win okay so that basically tells me <laughs> whose side you're on because i was gonna say let's get let's get right into it who you got for saturday's versus battle you clearly know. it's escape please make the case for why so here is why Escape is legendary. They are forced to be reckoned with in tomorrow's versus battle. All right. First of all, they're a phenomenal group of the 90s. So is SWV. They also have three different records that are certified platinum. Now, it doesn't matter that SWV also has three albums certified platinum and one of them is certified triple platinum. I didn't say <laughs> I was using logic in this argument. OK, uh, I'm thanks just for helping me make the case. That... OK, <laughs> I'm just saying that my little secret is a hit i mean it's still the ballads on that or who can you run to or run to the arms of the one who loves you like if you don't get taken to church when those songs come on yo deep then i don't know what you're doing and okay yes uh, swb okay. uh, does uh, Devin, have Devin. more maybe hits yes i'm listening Devin. not only do they have more but they point, actually but yes. have better quality songs we have we're talking about weak because I know you were jamming that as a kid. So they got weak. Yeah, I'm looking at my phone right fair. here. Rain. Yeah, that's fair. I'm so into yeah, you. That's fair. You're always on my mind. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, that's you're fair. the one. That's fair. The intro song. Look, I didn't just say they were bad, come you come on. I didn't say they were bad. But here's the other thing that you're forgetting. It depends on what the rules are tomorrow. We don't know. There's some speculation. Will they be able to include tracks that they wrote or co-wrote? Because if they mm -mm, can, mm -mm. which we've seen in previous versus battles, we've seen, so you know where I'm going, pulling out the big guns. That means not fair, we get to not add fair, in not bills, fair. Bills, bills, bills. That means we get to add in no scrubs. And that means, yo, Deet, I have won my case. I rest my case. I leave it to the defense, Your Honor. If that, no, if that is going to be the case, then I would say it might be a little harder for SW, because it was just a clean sweep for me. But I feel you, Candy from the group Escape, wrote some major hits. Um, I think she's the only major. one from the group that actually had more yes. of a music career after as a solo. But still, right. if we're talking about features, SWV with, with Missy, I don't know about any other features. They got a song with Babyface, um, Downtown. I forgot about that one. That's theirs. But we'll see. But this is what I feel I mean, like Escape have. has one with MC have... Light. They have one with Jermaine Dupri. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Listen, oh, I will say the one song I do love that Escape was on was the remix with Mariah Carey, Always Be My Baby. Now that, yeah. that would probably take up about two or three songs from SWV for me. Ooh, there we go. There we go. No, it, it's, it's that good. But here's, gonna pull out here's what I think is going to happen. When you have two women or two girl groups or whatever the case may be, it's just going to be all love. I, I think the competitiveness is for us, the fans, but I think in the end, no one's going to call for a winner. It's going to be a, you know what? They were both great. That it's going to be a tie. Now in my mind, agree. I'm going I'm to pick a winner. I already have, but I think that that's where it's going to go. Now it's Mother's Day weekend. I don't have a gift. I had actually Yo forgotten. I, I'm such a bad child. I know, I know, and I'm the only child. So oh, I need to figure out what to get my mother. I know, but it, l listen, this show has consumed my every waking moment for you yeah. all, okay? I hear so you. I need help. What do I get? What do I get, mom? What have you gotten your mom? 
All right. So, well, I hope Mama's not watching. I my mom is really um, vocal, so she just tells me what she wants, and so then I just send it to her. I have a double <laughs> issue because my mom's birthday is also right around Mother's Day, and she does not allow you to combine the two. So it means two sets of gifts uh, for her. But here's a couple ideas if you if you're still wondering what to get Mom, you only have about 48 hours to go. One great one that you can't go wrong is a fragrance diffuser. Uh, you know, sit in a room, pick Mom's favorite scent. It's amazing. What's awesome is a lot of these things that I'm gonna be sharing with you are available. You can do Amazon and a lot of the cities, they're available for um, same day delivery or one day delivery. So you can still get in in the nick of time. We also have an mm. air fryer. My mom raves about it. My aunt raves about it. They have a variety of sizes and brands. Oftentimes you can find them on sale. If you haven't tried an air fryer, let me tell you, it is game changing. You can do that easy peasy gift for the coffee lover in your life. If mom loves coffee because she's tired from dealing with you all those years than a good coffee machine uh, you can get a single serve one like Keurig is great again available on Amazon for same day or next day delivery uh, and then if you're broke if you're broke and you broke that's okay because mom still loves you you can actually do a surprise party with your family members via zoom get together a nice brunch let your siblings know or maybe your aunties know to come on to zoom or a video call you know whatever platform you want to use at a certain time bring your favorite snack maybe order delivery to mom's house as a surprise at that time too and then you guys can get on and it's like you're together that's something that she would really appreciate and last but not least there's a website called horse horse if you haven't heard of it, it's great. So pre-pandemic, it was a place that you could sign up to do everything from cooking classes to painting classes to uh, learning finance uh, in person. But now a lot of their classes are virtual. So if moms ever wanted to learn uh, how to paint or draw or a certain type of cooking skill or to make dumplings, this is an opportunity for her to do that. And you can gift that level of learning to her for a pretty reasonable price as well. So all of those can be done right now, tonight, before you go to bed, you'll eat. And then you can rest easy and know that mom's going to feel loved and appreciated on Mother's Day. The thing about my mom is that she never expects a thing. So anything I give her is just, she's so overwhelmed by just the thought. So I'm not going to put too much thought into it. I just want it to be really special, you know, of course, for her. She deserves it like all moms do. But we've been asking our audience, um, our viewers, to give us, you know, the greatest lessons they've learned from, from their mother. So I'd ask you the same. What, what has your mom taught you or instilled in you that you are forever grateful for? Um, I'm forever grateful for a million things for my mom. Mom, I love you so much. But I always say I've gotten to where I, I am now because I grew up with a mother who sort of taught me to be delusional. And what I mean by that is I really grew up believing I could be <laughs> anything, I could do anything. And she really instilled that in me and then supported it and still does to this day. And so thanks to her, I've really been fearless and following my heart, going after what I love. And I couldn't have done that without mom. So. Um, that's a lesson that I will always cherish and I am forever grateful. I've also learned don't leave the house door open and let her air conditioning out because she will not be happy about that either. <laughs> now, wait, did you actually tell us what you got your mother? No, because she might be watching and then I don't want her to know, although she told me what to get her. So it's some house shoes that she wanted and uh, a, a monogrammed bag that she wanted. Uh, and a face, facial scrub brush thing that I need to put in the mail still. She'll probably get that for her birthday, but that she wanted as well. I just listen to what she wants. So here's the thing, right? I think we probably need to go a little more extensive for me on the guests or the gift lifts because I was writing. The, so my mom has an air fryer. Um, the virtual okay. thing, my mom probably doesn't even realize how to log in to a, to a computer okay. and, and be able to. Too high tech for my mama. Um, the coffee That's thing fair. my mom has down to a T. Coffee is like a cultural, like it, it's it's a cultural thing. So she does it every week. She knows how to, she's got it down. I don't think she really needs a coffee uh, maker. Now the fragrance diffuser, I feel like just may scream, okay, you got this at the last minute. Yodi, you didn't think about this, but she'd still love it nonetheless. So I think we probably need to take this off air and I need some some more uh, gift ideas from you, Devin, because you're obviously really creative. So, or, or if you could think of any I'm right happy, now. I'm happy to do that. I'm, I'm happy to do that. It <laughs> depends on how comfortable um, mom is. You know, there is a great company called Soothe. Uh, they're in a variety of cities and they can actually come to your home and do like a massage and spa experience. And they have their own safety precautions ah. um, as well for COVID, but that's really nice. Or she can redeem it whenever she wants. 
that is an excellent gift, let me tell you. Um, you know, obviously like the floral thing is really great or you can get her because things are, it's hard because, you know, things are just starting to open back up, but you can plan out like a little girl's trip for just the two of you. Like put thought into it, put right out. We're going to do this, this, and this. We're going to go here for a girl's weekend. Here's tentatively the dates and present her with that. It gives her something to look forward to, to get excited about shows you put some thought into it and you're going to be paying for the whole thing you'd eat so it's going to be you know a nice quality <laughs> high-end gift because you're paying for the whole weekend I, that's a good idea and i could be like mom i thought about this a long time ago i just wanted to you know pick the right weekend so yeah this was something in the exactly. works from you know a month ago yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and she'll All appreciate right, that girl time Denim i know she'll Simone. she she will she hasn't seen me in a minute so i think she'd love that thank you so very much Devin Simone. Thank you, Adi.